Hello. So today I'm going to be having some great fun in the sun. Our pig has now finished processing or rotivating, digging up a whole field in the agroforest between two swales. So it's basically an area ploughed by an animal and it's eaten all the roots and everything. So there's not a lot of competition for weeds. So what we're going to do now is plant um, some crops there. We've got to take away his electric fence which will get moved for a new place for a pig to plough, ready for summer planting. And then we're going to plant some crops. So nearly all of these are uh, seeds we collected ourselves. We're going to plant uh, a big crop of chickpeas. It's the time to do that. It's a nitrogen fixing plant as well. <coughs> so that gives us some uh, more chickpeas for next year. We bought these uh, and then we'll put in some fava beans. I already did a big fava bean plantation, broad bean, in another agroforest, but we have some spare seeds, so I'll put those in from last year. And then we're going to plant Kuvgalega. It's a walking stick cabbage. It's a great one for animal fodder um, and for us. So it uh, grows over many years, uh, growing taller and taller. So we're going to plant these three crops as the main crops, and they. Um, they're not going to get any irrigation. So, the chickpeas should be fine, but what we're going to do is hedge our bets. Okay, we're going to do a little row of one type of mustard, two types of mustard, three, four. So we'll have four little squares of mustards to turn one little jar of seeds to a big bucket for the seeds for next year so we can make uh, lots of mustard sauces and we can add mustards to all our different dishes. Also very good for soil building anyway. Um, and we're also going to plant coriander, another big plantation of coriander. We already have one and we're going to do another one um, to get as many seeds as possible. These are seeds we collected last year. Anyway, maybe because of weather things don't do so well I want to make sure we make the most of this space that the pig has prepared for us. So we're going to put cover crops in. I bought alfalfa and clover. So actually the long term plan of this uh, patch, this alley crop, is to have alfalfa and clover always there. In the short term we're going to get some other crops. And then we're also going to do um, a line of uh, rye and a line of oats. It's a bit late for planting this, normally it's done in November but I didn't get around to doing uh, all the seeds. So we have these left from last year. I prefer not to keep collecting seeds over the years and just get them out there. So we'll do a little bit of that because they'll be very good for mulch, for just chop and drop, and then put move that mulch around the trees that are in that system. We also have some seeds, any leftover seeds, old seeds, fallen seeds, just seeds I don't really want. I put in a bucket and what we're going to do, we're going to chuck these all around. These are mostly flowers and some vegetables. So that's just going to give us some more diversity. If none of it grows, doesn't matter. If some does, cool. Also some bulbs, flower bulbs, and uh, sunflower seeds. We're just going to chuck loads of stuff there. So we're going to have hopefully a long-term cover crop um, and perhaps some um, different vegetables and um, veg that will self-seed each year. And then a crop this year of spices, uh, and beans.